Hi, hello, how are you? And welcome to, not back to, because we haven't done one of these before. Welcome to my first townie makeovers. And this one's actually a little overdue because this is the goth family, as you can probably tell. Uh, and I already renovated Ophelia Villa, their house, forever ago. And I meant to do this makeover right after that. And well, here we are. But anyway, this was so much fun. When I went into it, I was thinking that it was going to be hard to maintain who the goth family is, especially since they're so iconic, and then also make them over to look better. But once I started, it was it was easier than I thought. One of the main things you will probably notice with Bella and with, oh gosh, now I can't think of their daughter's name. Oh, Cassandra. With Bella and Cassandra is that I made them look less terrifyingly thin they didn't have it was almost the way they had been created it wasn't just that they were really skinny they were just the proportions were almost wrong it was that was the point to where they were skinny so because Bella for example looked like she had three ribs removed to have the waist that she did so i I messed with that a little bit on both of them more so on Bella than Cassandra because Cassandra is kind of like She's a twiggy teenage girl, which I got. It just needed a little bit of help. And then I did take Bella's face and make, I think I made her, yeah, I made her head a little bit wider because it. her face was, I don't know, like I said, proportions. It was weird. And then when I was going and redressing Bella, one, the, ma the biggest thing that was holding Bella back was the makeup. Sorry, EA, but your makeup was not good. And that comes from someone who knows nothing about makeup. So why did she look like that? So I tried to make her look more still elegant, still classic. I think in every outfit except for maybe one, she has her very classic red lip. But I did a different dark red instead of the weird semi-transparent thing she had going on. And then dark eyes, uh, dark eye makeup, I mean. And then sometimes like light blush. And then elegance, pure elegance with Bella Goth. Obviously, always, boom. And I don't know, I've not really played with the Goths that much, but, and I also haven't paid a ton of attention to them, but Bella Goth, she's got it going on. And so I wanted to make sure that showed in her clothes and because these are her, like, I imagine, especially with Bella, high class, she knows what she's working with and she flaunts it. And some of the outfits just weren't doing that. And what really got to me is the main hair she had with her everyday outfit. It was kind of boring, but okay. And I gave her a little bit different, like more of a side part, a little more full. And then you go into all of her other outfits and she has this weird choppy layer thing going on, which doesn't make sense with the other hair that she I don't know what they were doing so I just I think the new hair it works a lot better oh speaking of hair and clothing and all that stuff everything she's wearing and that all of the that all of them are wearing is base game because I'm sure I'll do some maybe makeovers I don't know but townies for sure that I make that will have stuff from all different packs however when they belong to a certain pack, I will do my absolute best to make sure it's only stuff that they would have if you just had that pack, if that makes sense. So it's all base game, except for, I think, maybe in all of them, when you get to their cold weather outfit, I use some winter stuff, but that's because there, there really aren't any jackets in base game. So that's it. But, oh my gosh, I don't know about your games, but my game generated some crazy outfits for their hot and cold weather for all of them. I mean, look at Bella here. Like, what was she thinking? What was happening? Oh, important thing to know also with Bella is that she's always wearing a red, a wedding ring and that bracelet. And I made sure to keep that throughout her thing. And I also, she kept having like tights and stuff on. And I was like, girl, you've got the legs, flaunt the legs. And so I took all of that off. Her everyday outfit I'm sure you saw is very similar to what it was in the, like originally the other outfits I think I pretty much changed up a lot but of course it's still red and black and very Bella Goth and I think Bella is actually the sim I spent the most time on because she was honestly the one I was the most worried about messing up everyone else once I figured out kind of the direction I wanted to take the entire family in and kind of a system for maintaining who they are but giving them a, a makeover 
It went really fast. Mortimer's main issue was his hair. I don't know. I gave him a more like modern slick back thing because he dressed. So Bella dresses like neighborhood hottie, right? Red and black and like ready to go glam. You could call her at 3 a.m. and be like, it's dinner party time. She's ready to go. Mortimer Goth dressed like he was someone's former butler that made it big and is now like 60. I don't think so. Like it didn't match up. And so I made him more modern, less, I don't, I don't even, less antique. He looked like an antique. Now he looks like modern, rich guy, suave, and still also very awkward dad at some points. I feel like with his, like his workout clothes and stuff, sometimes the Mortimer dad, Mortimer dads, Mortimer Goss awkward dad vibes come through really strong. But I think, like, he just, I classed him up a little bit. I changed his hair. I thought about giving him, you know how there's the option to do, it's a black hair with gray in it. I thought about doing that. I decided not to. I, I didn't think he was that old. And I was going to see what I could do, maybe make his mustache a little better. But there were only, I think, three pieces of facial hair in base game or something like that. Or three mustaches, excuse me. And I didn't want it to be very far off from his signature Mortimer Goth mustacheness. So, and honestly, the mustache isn't that bad, especially when I cha- once I changed his hair. And then from there, it was just all about outfits because Mortimer Goth wasn't ma- wearing, I don't think he's a makeup kind of guy. So I didn't go for any of that. And just fixing him up to be, I feel like he's definitely the button up all the time and like dress pants kind of guy. And so I tried to go through with that and I saved us all. I did us all, all simmers across the board, a great service by getting Mortimer out of his Speedo and into some proper swim trunks. You will thank me later. Like, oh my goodness. (laughs) I just, I... I forgot about that until I went through and I was on his swimwear and I was, oh, I was definitely changing that. Cassandra was, she's probably the biggest change. Physically, I didn't change her a ton. Like I said, I made her look more like a real person. I don't know. It was something weird, I think, with both her and Bella with the way that they had adjusted their hips and their shoulders and then their athletic to um, like fat ratio thing, you know? whatever you call it. And so she, it was just weird. Her face, I don't really think I did anything to, I don't even think I changed her eyebrows. I gave her a different hair because she looked like a 10 year old prep school kid and she's a teenager. So she's probably like 16. And I still went for the kind of smart girl kind of like shy vibes. And then of course, like a lot of dark a lot of black since that was her thing. I did add some red in here and there though, you know, to signify her mother's influence as you do. And I think she looks so much more like a teenager for one now and two, so much more just, it's better. It's so much better. She, when you look at Cassandra Goth as she exists, you're like, I don't even know what I thought, but I didn't, she wasn't a sim I wanted to really interact with. Now she's a sim that you want to do stuff with because she's cute. I mean, she was cute before, but it was just weird. And I also did change her glasses. I didn't take away her glasses because she's got a C <laughs> and I just changed the frame. So they weren't those round kind of, like I said, they look like something a little kid would wear. I gave her some more uh, rectangular framed glasses and I didn't, I tried to read their personalities in their pre-existing outfits, and I feel like for Cassandra, she's shy and very smart and pretty introverted. So she's not she's not flashy like Bella, and so I tried to make that come through. I did give her um, some eye makeup. I think in most of her outfits, just eyeliner and like some dark eyeshadow for the whole goth vibe, but I don't think I ever gave her lipstick unless maybe formal, I don't know, and rarely blush. And not very much jewelry either. I just didn't think it fit her. She's a teenager discovering herself. So she doesn't really, she's not like Bella where she's all gotta be glam all the time, but she does look presentable now, which is great. Some of her outfits, I was just very confused about what she could be thinking and what what direction she was taking her wardrobe in. It surprised me though that 
Because, you know, her bedroom, even before I renovated it, is a lot of purple. And I don't think she has, I didn't give her any purple. And before, like her original outfit, she didn't, she wasn't wearing any purple either. So maybe the whole purple thing's a lie. And Bella did her room and she's like, you like purple. And Cassandra's like, okay, I like purple. I don't know. We may never know. Conspiracy theory. Purple is being forced upon Cassandra Goff. I don't know. <laughs> But I really let, I definitely underappreciated Cassandra Goth until this makeover. And now I feel like we're buddies. I'm going to play with her. She's great. I am, I'm going to play with the Goths. I was planning on playing with the Goths anyway because I want this save to have Sims that like have stuff going on. I know they have jobs and things, but none of the Goth family really have any skills when you open up the household for the first time. So I want to get them skills that kind of make sense for their personalities and stuff. Like she's going to be good at video games and stuff and things like that. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with uh, Mortimer and Bella or even Alexander yet, but we'll get there. We'll figure it out. Um, speaking of Alexander, poor kid. I don't know why he looks so sad. I didn't want to mess with his face too much, to, but I... I couldn't figure out a way to make him look less sad without that. And I also, I changed his eyebrows because for some reason he had these eyebrows and the eyebrows were fine. However, there were this one set of eyebrows that weirdly only had three colors in like a brown to dark blonde range. And so he had these brown eyebrows and dark, dark, like jet black hair like the rest of the family. And I was like, no, 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 kid. You will have eyebrows that match your hair. So I did that and... I don't think I changed his glasses even. I think I was fine with that. It was mostly his outfits. I wanted him because he's he lives in the attic already. He He's treated like an outcast. He was dressed like an outcast. And I was like, he needs to be, he could be a cooler kid. I don't think there's anything wrong with Alexander Goth. And so I wanted to make him seem more like, like the 10 or 11 year old he probably is. He's awkward, but not as awkward as maybe his previous outfits would have suggested but yeah so that's my goth family I almost said renovation I always say that I'm going to renovate the townies and I you can't renovate people it's anyway I will do screenshots of before and after so you can look at the transformations and uh, let me know which townies you want me to make over next probably probably I'll probably do someone in Willow Creek next as well so Anywho, I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to know what you think, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!